Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Mayra. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hey, Jorge. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. What about you? I'm happy. Really happy. <laughs> Yes, finally, right? For uh, me, for me. I started for the I started the Sí. All right, all right. All right, Denise, Sandra, Jancy, Carlos, Brian, and Marvin. Teacher. What, what, what's up with your happy faces? ¿Qué les pasó ahora? Muy contentos. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's going on? Good night. Hi, hi, Paola. Friday. Why is everyone so happy? <laughs> <laughs> we are so happy to finish a week of class. Yeah, it is true. It is true. It's It's been a while, huh? This week has been very long. Well, for me, it has been very long, to be honest. Yes. Well, I'm glad it is Friday, people. I'm 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 happy it is Friday. Yes, it's about time. Yes. I'm sorry for the ones that are going to work tomorrow. I'm not going to work tomorrow. So yeah. good for me. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, Sandra is not happy. Sandra, are you happy? What happened? <laughs> How are you guys? How are you? How are you, everyone? Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. It's good to see you again. All right. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining. It is finally Friday. Do you have any plans for, for the weekend? No? No, teacher. Wow. No, teacher. I am sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What am I doing? Uh, Only rest. Only rest, all right. I do have uh, some plans for tomorrow and uh, Sunday. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to go to the airport because my mom is going back to Spain. And uh, on Sunday, I'm supposed to go to the beach, but I don't know because they haven't told me anything about, about that plan. Because they told me, they told me, well, they, they invited me to go to the beach last Saturday, last week, I mean. And, uh, well, they haven't told me anything about it this week. So I don't know, maybe not. But about tomorrow, yes, it is a sure thing. I'm going to the airport. The, the, the trip is a little tedious, but yeah, I have to go. Yes. And you, no plans. Wow, people. <laughs> uh, no, teacher. Only, no. only. No, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Stay home and rest. Uh, I, I think that uh, maybe I think uh my my weekend is unpredictable. Hi, hi. Yes, hi. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna get some some drinks and something. That's it. Uh, uh, something happened tomorrow. The night, for example, <laughs> but tomorrow. If you have any plans, don't worry. You, you can do this, look. Go ahead, go ahead. Look at Paola, she's doing already. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh. Yeah, yes. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it, I get it. All right, people. Welcome, everyone. Uh, I see more people now. Excellent, excellent. I'm drinking too, but I'm not drinking what you think, okay? This is uh, poison. <laughs> it's poison. Can I guess poison? Yes. Coca-Cola. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. 
I don't I don't drink I I used to <laughs> I used to drink a lot of soda well Coca Cola specifically a lot to be honest but uh when I was diagnosed with this problem with this health problem I stopped I drink soda but not that much maybe one time a week yes only one time a week this is bad too much sugar people too much sugar all right. I think, uh, well, let me take attendance, people. Most of you are already here. Let me see. Mm. Let's start. Ana Victoria Galang. Present. Present. Ahí le pedí un mensaje. Estoy trabajando. All right, all right. Thank you, Paola. Paola. Ana. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. Yes, ya voy a revisar el grupo, no había revisado. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian David Ramirez. Present teacher. Yes, Carlos Alberto Orrego. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present. Thank you, Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. She's not here yet. Edwin Her uh, Heriberto Delgado. Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Veamos acá. Sure. Right, thank you. Marvin Josué Cortés. Present. Thank you, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present, teacher. Paola Geraldine, thank you, Mayra. Paola Geraldine Santa María. Present. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. No, not yet. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Veronica Portillo. Hello, hello. Yes, thank you, Sara. Veronica Lisa Portillo. Present. Yes, thank you, Jancy Andrea Solórzano. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right, we are ready. Let me start or let's begin. Let us begin. All right, yesterday we were talking about this grammar topic and I would like to start with a review of it. The topic that we were practicing is present perfect. Yes. Well, let me put it up here. Do you remember anything about this topic? Guys, do you remember anything about this topic? Yes, teacher. Okay, what can you tell me? What is present perfect? What, what do we use it for? Para que lo usamos? To say that the act is going Doing is going to uh, algo que está sucediendo en el momento. Mm. And no. maybe in the experience. No. Exactly, experience. It, it is not it is not something happening right now. Okay. For for that one, we use present progressive or present continuous. Is the is the structure that we use for actions in progress. For present perfect, uh, well, we use it differently. It's what Veronica said. It is to mention experience. It is to mention experience 
Okay, I'm going. I'm going to explain this to you. Don't re well re-explain this to you. Don't worry. Yes, we also we also use present perfect to to connect past actions to the present. Yes, they might continue. Well, actually, not might may. Because there's more possibility. Okay. They may continue to connect to connect look to connect past actions to the present. Those those actions can continue or may continue in the present or in the future. Yes. What else do you remember? Do you remember the auxiliaries that we use? Yes. Uh, okay. It, it okay, we use two auxiliaries. We use two auxiliaries. Okay. We use two auxiliaries. Have and has. All right. Those are the two auxiliaries that we use in the present perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. For negatives, para negativos, what happens? What happens, people, with the negative form? Can you tell me or do you remember? We are not. Okay, we are the auxiliary. Exactly, exactly. We are not right after the auxiliary or next to the auxiliary. Yes, for negatives, excuse me, we use not, okay? Look, have not or has not. Yes, have not or has not. We also, we can also, Make a contraction. Haven't. Hasn't. Okay. Yes. We can also make a contraction. Haven't and hasn't. Okay. Yes. What else? Let me see if I'm not uh, skipping anything right now. Let me see. We got it all. We can also make contractions have and has it. See what else? Is there anything else, guys? I'm trying to, to remember. Is there anything else? Uh questions. Oh, for questions, okay. For questions, we <clears throat> we Invert the subject and the auxiliaries. Yes. For questions, for, well, let me put it over there for questions. For questions, we, we invert the subject and the auxiliaries. Oh, yes, this one is the most important one. We use the past. We use the past participle for all the verbs. Yes. Yes. We use the past participle for all the verbs. Okay. Yes. We have to use the past participle. All right. Very good. So this is this is what we have. This is what we have, or this is present perfect. It's I was telling you yesterday that it is a very complex uh structure because of the verbs. You have to know you have to know the past participle form of every verb, and that makes it complex and complicated to 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 comprehend or to understand. Okay, I have you have she excuse me she has he has 
it has, you have, we have, they have. If you want to make it negative, you go with not over there, right next to the auxiliary, as you can see. As you can see. Hello? I remember something about uh, contractions too, but with the affirmative form, I'm not, I'm not sure. What are you are you not so sure about? Tell me. Uh, the contraction, for example, with I have, the contractions, I think is I, but I'm not sure. Uh, there is there is uh, some interference, Denise. I cannot really understand you. Hay poco interferencia. Can you repeat? Hola. Hola, hola. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yes. Uh, uh, I remember something about the contraction. Yes. But with the affirmative form. Yes. I think, uh, do, you mean, example, do you mean with the with the names of the people? No, for example, when uh, uh, for she has, I remember it was she's. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, you're right. Yes, we can make we can make that contraction too. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, yes. Look, I'm gonna write it down over here. They're here. Okay. There you go. That's the contraction. I yes. Yes. We can use contractions there too. Okay, let's go on. Uh, okay, let's go on. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can use cheese. I was telling you that to identify if we're using present progressive or present perfect, you have to see the form of the verb because cheese can also be she is, you know. But in that case, you have to pay attention to the context to see if you're using present perfect or present progressive or simple present with cheese beautiful, cheese eating, or cheese eaten okay yes you have to pay attention to the context to see what you're talking about it's uh you you we have we There you go. Yes. There you go. You have the contractions there. All right. And uh, I forgot to tell you this one too. We can we can make contractions. We can contract has has specifically only has with most names. Example. Pongamos acá Mauricio. Mauricio has, you can say equals to, oops, no se le igual a la equals to Mauricio. Seven, yes. We can also make that contraction, yes. Okay, very good. Now, do you have any more questions before we continue? No? No teacher. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's make a list of regular and irregular verbs. Can you help me with the list? Guys, can you help me with the list? Hello. Busy. Can you mention can you mention some regular verbs? Dance. 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 Okay, dance. Play. 
The past mm -hmm. participle is danced. Okay. Which one? I'm sorry. Play. Okay. Study. Play. Which one, Sandra? Sleep. Sorry. Sleep. Okay. Sleep. No. <laughs> Ask. Sleep is irregular. Yes. Let's use study. Ah, oh, cook. Watch. Ask. Okay, we yeah. got watch, cook as well. Well, well, check. Well, check. check. Watch. Well, caminar. Oh, walk. Okay. Walk. Check. Okay, check. 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 One more. Ask. Okay, and ask. That one is difficult to pronounce, people, in the past form, in past participle. Can you do it? Ask. Ask. Hard to pronounce. All right. Visit. Visit. Okay, visit, visit, all right. Let's write that one down. Visit. Past participle form, visit it. Remember that for regular verbs, we use the same form, I mean, the past form and the past participle forms are the same, all right? They are the same. They do not change. For example, I danced yesterday. Yo bailé ayer. I have danced in many parties. Yo he bailado en muchas fiestas, okay? So the past form and the past participle form are the same, okay? They have no differences. They have the difference in the context. Let, help me out with some irregular verbs, people. Irregular verbs. B. Which one? Speak. B. Sleep and be. be the hell speak. Of speak. All right. Go. Speak. Go. What else? Write. Okay, write. Think. Excuse me? Think. Oh, think. think. Okay, think. Thought. Mm -hmm. Which one? Drink. 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 Read. Read. All right, that, that's enough. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay. The past participle form of sleep is slept. Slept. Slept, yes. Past participle form of be is? Was. No, be that's in. the past form. Been, I yes. Was, was is the past form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do not confuse the past form. Speak. Spoke. Spoken. Spoken, yes. Go. Gone. 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 yes. Write. Written. 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 written, 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 think, thought, thought, okay. thought. drink, drunk, drunk, drunk. drunk. Yes. read, read, uh, read. All right, there you go, there you go. Okay, now with the irregular verbs, we have our challenge because we need to know the past form and the past participle form. I was showing you a PDF yesterday in which you could see, you could see the different patterns. Sometimes the past form and the past participle form are the same. Yes, they are the same, but uh, in some cases they are not. So you need to know uh, or memorize them. Yes, you need to learn them all, practice them all, and basically memorize every verb, every irregular verb. Yes. Once once you memorize the irregular verbs, you are going to go, you are easily going to identify the regular verbs. Let me give you some examples, and then we will practice a little bit. Let me try with they. Let me change the color right here. Not this one. Let's use the black one, normal. They, look at this, they have, okay, they use an, 
They have walked for many hours. They have walked for many hours. Yes. That means, ¿qué significa eso en español? What does, what does that mean in Spanish, people? They have walked for many hours. Sorry? Ellos han caminado. Yes. Ellos tuvieron que caminar por horas. Ellos han estado caminando por horas. No, no. Si decimos tuvieron, tuvieron que ese es pasado. Uh -huh. Ellos had, had to. Ok, perdón, ahí en ese mayúscula. Had to. Ok, that's a different case. Remember, have and has, they mean yo he, tú has, ella ha, él ha, hemos, yes, ellos I'm han. Sorry. Ok, exactly. Uh -huh. So in this case, it's like it's uh, like what Paola said, right? Ellos han caminado por muchas horas. They have walked for many hours. Uh, the boss has checked. Excuse me, the payroll. The boss has checked the payroll. Do you know what payroll is? I think you do. Planilla. Yes, exactly, exactly. This is the structure, observen. Auxiliar más pasado participio. Auxiliar más pasado participio, right? That's what it is. Yes. Let me help you with some negative examples. Let's write Sandra, yes. Sandra has not, observen. Sandra has not read the... Memo. Okay. Sandra has not read the memo. Sandra no ha leído el memorandum. Okay. That's what it is. That's the negative form. Has not read. Has not read. What is the different teacher? Sorry. Yes. What is the different pronunciations the color? The color red and red. There is red. no difference. There is no difference. It's the same as the color same? Oh, red. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What you have to do is like understand the context, okay, or pay attention to the context to see if you're using the color or if you're using the verb in the past participle past form or the past participle form. Okay, Gustavo and Romeo have not drank, have not drunk enough water. Dice Gustavo y, y Romeo no han tomado o bebido suficiente agua. Gustavo and Romeo have not drunk enough water. Have, have not drunk, that's the present, I mean, past. Uh, present perfect form. All right, yes, that's how it goes. Questions like this will be like this. Look, has Jorge visited his family Wow, Jorge, look. Has Jorge visited his family in Dubai? We don't know. Maybe, maybe, right? Has? Maybe, maybe. Okay, look. Has Jorge visited his family in Dubai? As you can see, we have affirmative examples. They have walked for many hours. We have negative examples. Handra has not read the memo. And we, we have a question. Has Jorge visited his family in Dubai? Do you have any last questions? It is time to practice. Practiquemos un poco. Questions? Before we begin with the practice. No? Estamos bien? Are we good?
No teacher. No. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Let's let's begin with the practice. Let me get some some water I have I have outside. I got it right there. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to write an example or to think of an example. And once I'm back, I'm going to ask you those to share those examples. Okay, go ahead. Think about it. Think, think. Uh, a question or affirmative or negative? Your decision. That's up to you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was really fast. Okay, who is ready? You can start sharing, no problem. Um, for example, my see, my my TV has broken for many days. My activity. No, my TV. Uh huh. My TV has broken for many days. Mm, no. No. No, porque ese, ese, ese caso, la, 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 el TV no puede hacer una acción. Entonces digo, my TV has broken, como que mi televisión ha roto. Tendría que ser, my TV has been broken, esa es pas, uh, voz pasiva. Como mi televisión ha sido quebrada o destruida. That would be a different structure, let me show you. My... TV has been broken. Different structure. Now it's not it's not it's present perfect, yes, but using the passive voice. Yes. Let's try a different example. Uh I must... sorry, teacher. Try a different example. Oh, okay, um, let me see. Um, um my mom has uh, my mom has uh, sick. My, my mom has been sick. Um, okay, yeah, no, that's a, that one is fine. My mom has been yes. sick, sick, but that's sick. still passive voice, still passive voice. Okay, and my mom has been okay. Sick. Not passive voice, my bad. Okay. People, continue, continue. Go ahead, share. I wanna try. Go ahead, Marvin. Thank you. Have you gone to air, airport? Come again? Have you gone to airport? To, to the airport. Yes. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. yes, I have. Uh -huh. Have you gone to yes. airport? Have you have you gone to the airport, Saria? Okay, thank you. Exactly, exactly, Marvin. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Who else came us? Go ahead, go ahead, people. Me, teacher. Go for him. Mauricio it. has not wrote the book yet. Mauricio has not wrote. Uh, written, written, ah. written. Go. Read, read the book. book. Written. Okay. Written. Written. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you, Jorge. Excellent. Who else? Kim us. Go ahead. Go ahead, people. Mariah has has danced in the party. Okay. Mariah, right? Yeah. Has danced. Yes. Isn't that a singer? A, a woman, a singer? Mariah Carey, I think it is. <sighs> Yes, 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 yes. The good thing. Yeah, she's a very bad teacher. person. Teacher. <laughs> nah. Yes, yes, Carlos. <laughs> I have a I have a question for you. Okay. Have you have you seen a uh, Sariwaya in your house? No, I have not. Okay. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have seen I have seen some snakes, uh some uh well many animals. Yes. Snakes are beautiful people. Beautiful yes. animals. Yes, I think so. All right. Go ahead, go ahead. Mayra, go ahead. Carlos, Denise. Hello. 
Brian, Gansi, Sandra, Paola. Me, teacher. Okay, go, Brian. Um, an example, I has drunk many soda yesterday in the party. Okay. Um, yesterday, no. Last night. No, tampoco. <laughs> no. Because if you say yesterday, that is specific, past, past form. And if you say last night, still past form. That is very specific. And the present perfect is not specific. Es como que diga, yo he bebido ayer. Mm, no, right? Yes. O yo he bebido anoche. Doesn't, doesn't sound right. So, repeat it, Brian. But elimine ese yesterday or last night. No, don't say nothing. Uh, what is the correct uh, sentence then? Repeat, repeat it, repeat it. Okay, I had drunk many soda yesterday in the party. Okay, yesterday, no. The Only party then. Only yesterday is bad. I have drunk um, suena mejor, a lot of soda. I have drunk a lot of soda in the party. Yes. Okay. In the party. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Quien más? Quien más? Go ahead. I have told uh, you uh, last night. I have told. Thought? Pensado? Yes. What What have you thought about? Sobre qué? <laughs> Today <No>. is... Yo. <laughs> about, about you? Yes. Repítalo. I have told about you. Okay. Hasta ahí. Usted dijo last night. Last night no porque es específico, que es pasado, de ayer. Okay. Y no, no puede decir ayer. Así como dijo Brian, no se puede decir eso. Ok, ese es... Porque es específico. Sería ya pasado simple. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. I have finished the homework. Ok, I have finished the homework. Yes, it is correct. Thank you, thank you. Who else? ¿Quién más? Go ahead, people. Go ahead. Me. Yes. My mom has cooked things in barbecue sauce. My mom has cooked. Cook wings in barbecue sauce. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Maya. Who else? Give us. Me, teacher. Okay. Go, Denise. Um, I have been sick for two days. I'm sorry to hear that. Hear it. <laughs> no. Okay, I have been sick for for many days. Yes. Well, in my case, I have been in pain for almost well, for over a week. Por eso que tenía la la boca. Yes. Hear it. Okay, let's continue. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Who's missing? Go ahead, people. No, we're good. Estamos bien. Okay. Uh, okay. I has I has not seen the movie yet. Mm, I have. I yes yes I have not seen the movie. Okay, I have not seen the movie. Yes, exactly. Okay, let's continue. I have finished my my homework. Okay, I have finished my homework. There you go. Excellent. I have had a pet. I have? Um, I have had a pet. A pet? Sure. Pet. Okay, yes. I have I have had a pet. Exactly, exactly. Yes. All right. Excellent, excellent. People, let's let's stop with the practice over here. Thank you very much. I was telling you this this topic is complex and there is a lot to practice. Yes. Especially the past participle form of the verbs. It's that's a difficult thing to do. Yes, the past participle form is it's a challenge. Yes. All right.
Let me see if I can, how can I do it? Let's save this, okay. I saved it where? Stop sharing. All right. I'm going to share that uh, that picture with you guys because it's, it's good information. There you go. Let me know if you get it. Let's carry on, let's begin. And uh, today we do not have a grammar topic. I consider this topic is not grammar. It's more like vocabulary that we have to learn. It's expressions that we have to learn as English learners. Yes, well, let me show this to you. As you can see, it says there, well, let me make it bigger. Okay, this is class this is class number 13. Today is Friday finally after a while. And we're gonna be practicing idioms. Idioms. How to use idioms, and you see part number one. It means the next class on Monday is going to be about idioms too. Okay, let's see. Let's see what idioms are. We're gonna see what idioms are. Yes, let me uh share the book. Okay, very good. We're gonna be talking about sickness. Do you know what sickness is? Sickness. Yes? Enfermedad. Exactly, exactly, right. Enfermedad, right, right. It says that I will be able to make a phone call to report sickness. Okay, I will be able to call a person, to call my boss, my supervisor, to report that I am sick. Yes. And the question there is just, do you often get sick? What? What kind of question is that? <laughs> do you often get sick? Of course we get sick. <laughs> People, do you often get sick? Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, in my case, I have been I have been admitted to the hospital three times this year, so it's okay to say that I get sick very often. I've been admitted, been admitted three times, man, three times. Guys, do you get sick? Do you usually get sick or do you often get sick? Tell me. Tell I me am sick it. right now, teacher. I am sick right now. Wow. Sorry, Christian. Oh, again, I'm sick too, right? Yeah. She was, uh... Who else is sick? Who else is sick? Nobody? Me, teacher. <laughs> okay, Anna is sick too. I'm sorry, Anna. Que mejore. Who else? Who else? Or who has been sick? ¿Quién ha estado enfermo? Who has been sick lately? Me, 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 me. <laughs> me, me. <laughs> okay, Veronica, Paola. Wow, people. Women. Women are weak. Y un hombre con una gripe se está acostado en una cama, tirado en una cama por, por, por semanas. <laughs> we are weak. Men are weak. Honestly, we are weak. Yes. Okay. There you go. It's okay. It says there, uh, this one I need you guys to practice. This one is, is good. I need you guys to, to, to speak, to say something. It says there, what are the procedures to report a work absence? What are the procedures to report a work absence? What do you do, people, when you are sick? Tell me. Corto seguro social. Okay, you go to S, and you spend you spend the whole day uh, over there, right? Um, then present the 
Eh, what do you say? Incapacidad? The sick leave. The, oh, okay, the sick leave to the boss and take my days off. Sick leave. All right, all right. Easy, right? Easy peasy. <laughs> okay, what about the rest? Marvin, how do yes. you do this, Marvin? In my case, I notice I notice to my boss and and then I going to the uh, the east and I'm I uh, they they give me a, a let me see uh, a sick sick leave. Mm -hmm. They give me a a sick leave for uh for three three days. All right, all right. I I will say the insurance, the insurance hospital, the insurance hospital. Yes. Okay. All right, all right, Marvin. What about you? How? What's the procedure? Okay, in my case, uh, sometimes I only call for my boss and report that maybe I, I don't be I don't be active for for some hours, and I will re, uh, replace replace another another hours. It's if I I, I don't want uh, to que me descuenten. ¿Cómo se diría? They if I don't want if I don't want them to discount. Or to, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't want to this come to me and I replace uh, for other hours. Oh, I understand. Something. Well, you have that. That's flexible. That's different. That's good. Yes. Yes. Uh, let me see. What about you, Mr. Mr. Dimas? What is the procedure that you follow? Hello, teacher. Uh, in my case, teacher, uh, the first I make a call, a call to my boss, and later I go it, I I go to the days. Uh, only only that. All right, all right. Well, let me tell you about my procedure. I I I send a message to my boss or to the principal, and I tell her, "Hey, what's up?" <laughs> no, no, no. No, let was see. <laughs> okay, no, I just I just sent her a message tell, telling her that I'm sick and uh, that I'm going to go to the clinic. I go to the clinic uh, and, uh, well, this this uh, the, the last time I was at the hospital, I went directly to the hospital. They gave me the sick leave. I went to the teacher's clinic. They uh, gave me another paper. Uh, it's... It's a very complicated uh, procedure. I have to go to three different places to get the sick leave. Yes. I have to go to three different places to get the sick leave. Let me see. Mayra, what about you? What is the procedure that you, procedure that you follow? Hello, teacher. Uh, in my case, I don't remember having asked for sick. Um, what? Oh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yes. I uh, don't permit for for us. So you're you're not allowed. No. Wow. That's bad. Go to work or go to what my work. I understand. Oh, wow. What happens if you cannot walk? You know, but I'm not going to walk. Me vienen a traer, pero voy. Wow. It's very hard. Wow, that's complicated, huh? That's complicated. Yes. All right. Well, let's continue. Let's move on. Let's see. Let's take a look at the present at the conversation. Over here, we might not really understand what the words or the expressions are. I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to go to the presentation to show you what the expressions mean, all right? Let me read this to you. It's a conversation between Mr. Reese and Jenny. It says there, good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. 
my stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a, have, a, have a nice rest of the day. There you go. We got a couple of expressions here that are, uh, well, kind of weird. Have you ever heard of idioms? ¿Han escuchado de, de idioms ustedes alguna vez? Idioms. Idioms. ¿Alguien ha escuchado de idioms alguna vez? Like um, dichos, teacher. Yes, exactly. Dichos o modismos. Okay. Son palabras que, que, que no, no significan lo que está escrito, sino que es algo diferente. Okay. Yes. They do not have... Well, let me show you. Tal es muerte. Este es el repaso que vimos del present perfect. Okay, acá están. These ones, these ones are the ones that we have in the book. Son los que están, los que están en el libro, okay? Let me show them to you. Look. As sick as a dog. Ahí aparecía en la conversación. As sick as a dog. Dice, that means, o significa, that means, well, sorry, sorry, the definition. What are idioms? They are words that do not have a literal meaning. Son palabras o frases que no tienen un significado literal. Ok. Dice acá, enfermo como, como un perro. As sick as a dog. Tan enfermo como un perro sería. Acá. Tan enfermo como un perro, sí, sí. literal. Okay, but it is not literal. It means to be very sick. Okay, if I say, si yo digo, I am, I am as sick as a dog. Okay, significa estoy muy enfermo. I am very sick, right? As sick as a dog. Under the weather, okay, bajo el clima sería literalmente, bajo el clima. Okay, no tiene nada que ver, ¿verdad? That means feeling sick. Feeling sick or unwell. Sentirse un poco enfermo o mal. Okay, o no bien, como es acá, unwell. Feeling sick or unwell. Under the weather. Under the weather. There is something going around. There is something going around. Dice acá, hay algo pasando alrededor, literalmente. There is something going around. But that means it's going viral. Es como un virus. The virus is everywhere. Es cuando decimos que el virus está por todos lados. Okay? The virus is everywhere. Or it's going viral. Como el virus está, está haciendo, haciendo, haciendo viral. That's what it is. Haciendo viral. It's going viral or the virus is everywhere. Yes. That is, there's something going around. Yes. Uh, my stomach is killing me. Creo que lleva una T extra ahí, ¿verdad? No, no va a contar. My stomach is killing me. Look. We got this one. Indigestion. We got constipation, stomach virus, allergies, intolerances, or and or gas. That means my stomach is killing me. Okay. Sería mi estómago me está matando. <laughs> no, right. We can ask. Well, that's, that's weird to say. Yes. So my stomach is killing me is when you have problems in your stomach, when you have constipation, when you have a virus in your stomach, when you have allergies, intolerances, or gases in your stomach. Let me correct that. Let me put that in the next one. Sorry about it. Okay, here we go. Take it easy, you know this one, okay? You know this one, take it easy, make a little effort, okay? Or rest. Tómalo con calma, okay? Tómalo con calma. Sería aquí, tómalo fácil. No, pero no, no es así, ¿verdad? Es como decir descansar, okay? Take it easy, hey, relax. Okay, relajarse, descansar, o tómalo con calma, okay? Dice acá, dice acá hacer un poco de esfuerzo, hacer poco esfuerzo, okay? Make little effort or rest. Let's take it easy. 
Then we have can't afford to. Can't afford to. You must do you must not do it because it would cause serious problems. Bueno, acá no, no tiene como lo que significa es una definición acá. Oh, uh, sería como no se puede darse el lujo de darse el lujo de ese can't afford to darse el lujo de. Okay. For example, I cannot afford to Okay, no puedo darme el lujo de y luego la expresión. I can't afford to. You must you, you must not do it because it will cause serious problems for you. Okay, no lo deberías hacer porque dice causaría problemas serios. Te, bueno, te causaría problemas serios. Yes. When you are sick, people, cuando están enfermos and you want to report that you are sick, you say, ustedes dicen o pueden decir, hey, I am calling, I am calling in sick. I am calling in sick. Es lo siguiente. I am calling in sick. Call in sick. Telephone. Significa llamar, ok? O telefonear. Telephone wants employer, ok? Llamar a su empleador. Or school, o la escuela. That one that one is ill and cannot come to work or attend. Ill enfermo. Okay, ill enfermo. Ese call in sick is reportarse enfermo. Ahí sería, literal sería llamar en enfermo. No, verdad. But call in sick, report that you are sick. Reportarse enfermo sería call in sick. I am calling in sick. Then you call your boss, hey boss, I am calling in sick. Okay, means I am reporting that I am sick. Tip top shape. Tip top shape. That means excellent or perfect. When you feel good, right? When you feel good. That's what it is. And these are the idioms. These are the idioms that we have in the book. Okay. If you go to part number four, you're going to find the list right there. Do you have any questions about the idioms? Preguntas sobre los, los modismos o dichos. Hello? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Everything. everything. We just have to we just have to practice, all right? We have to practice. That's what we have to do. With the idioms, we have to practice. Yes. Yes. I have more idioms here. Tengo más más modismos acá, más dichos que le que le podemos dar más adelante. Igual con respecto a salud y y enfermedad. Yes. Uh, I I have listened uh um a lot of uh idioms. Yeah. Uh, for example. When I when I want to say, for example, uh, uh, I don't like or que no me gusta, I don't is, I can say um, I I I I don't remember. I am not fan with that. I, I'm uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Yes, I'm not a fan with that. Uh, for not say, for not to say. Uh, 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 it's when you when like you it. don't like something. When you don't like something, for example, let's say I don't like sushi. In my case, I don't like sushi. I can say I'm not a fan of sushi. I'm not a fan of sushi. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. yes. People, let me tell you, we have. I, I do not know all the idioms. Okay, I do not know all the idioms. I know some of them. Conozco algunos. No lo sé todos. Son un gran montón. Hay una gran, gran barbaridad de, 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 de dichos. Wow, you have no idea. Wait. He's not here, Missy. <laughs> All right. Now you might understand the context. Let me read this to you again. If you still have questions, let me know. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. 
I have a situation. I am I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm sick. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, excuse me. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Excellent. Now, do you have questions? Preguntas? Any last questions? No? No, teacher. Okay. There are very few people today. And we focus on what I've varios. They they are they are feeling uh -huh. under the weather. Yes. The ones that, that did not show up today are feeling under the weather. What is the mean? Teacher, what is the meaning? Tip top shape. Sorry? What is the meaning? Tip top shape. Oh, tip top shape is when you feel excellent, when you feel perfect, or when you feel healthy. Healthy, healthy people, oh, okay. saludable, healthy, yes, yes. Thank All you, right, teacher. let's practice. I need two volunteers. Me, Me teacher. Okay, Me teacher. Jorge. Um, Jorge and Sandra, Denise, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Go, go. Good, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feel well today. My stomach is killing me. I am a cigarette, a sadok. Okay, uh, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope you see you on Monday. Thanks a I lot. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot of Mr. Rich. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. okay, thanks a lot. Yes. Okay, thanks. thank you, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Sandra and Jorge. Okay, Denise and uh, let me see. Who? Me, teacher. Okay, Brian, excellent. Thank you. Denise okay, and I'm Brian. Sorry. Uh, good morning. This is Mr. Reyes. Hello, Mr. Rees. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is, is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, uh, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water, too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah, I'm tip top shape. Take take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Rees. Have a nice rest of the day. Excellent, excellent. Thank you both. Let's continue with two more people. Volunteers, go. Heat it, heat it. Sanchez, heat it. También es un idioma que heat it. Okay, let's continue with Carlos, Alberto, yes. and Carlos Elias, of course. Carlos and Carlos. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, do you want Mr. Ruiz, Carlos, or Jen or Jenny? 
uh, Mr. Ruiz. Okay, go ahead. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather, too. Oh, really? There was something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm tip top sure. Take it easy, Jenny. Um, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks. Thanks a lot of Mr. Reese. A lot of Mr. Reese. Uh, I uh, have a nice, have a nice rest of today. Yes. All right. Thank you, Carlos and Carlos. <laughs> Let's continue. Mayra, Paola, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny, tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm, I'm sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling better too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah, I'm tip to shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thank you, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Mara, you sound sick. <laughs> it's false. <laughs> Are you under the weather? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, all right. Excellent. Who are we missing over here, Veronica? Yes. Raquel, Elizabeth? Wait, Raquel is... Ismael, are you available? Yes, teacher, I can, I can participate. Okay, Veronica and Ismael. Okay. Morning, okay. this... Okay. Good morning, this is Mr. Luis. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what is the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in TikTok shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. All right. Excellent, people. Very good. Okay, let's continue. In part number three, it says get in pairs and discuss the following questions. Let's not do that. Let's answer the questions individually. It says there, why, why can't Jenny go to work? That's question number one. How does Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? Can you tell me the answer to, to question number one? It says, what, why can't Jenny go to work? Because she was sick. Because her stomach is killing her. Okay, we have many options, right? She's, she's uh, sick. She, she feels, oh, let me see. Her stomach is killing her. Stealing her. <clears throat> Only those two options, okay? She's sick and her stomach is killing her. What about number two? How does Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? Okay, let's go to the post of the Okay, let's go to the post of 
tell me, how does Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? Hello. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy, right? I think he's, uh, no sé cómo se dice, comprensivo? Flexible, let's say. Flexible. Oh, he's very flexible. Yes. With the problem of the journey. Well, he's flexible, let's say. Well, we do not have this type of bosses, right? Quien tiene un jefe así, flexible. Invite us again, no, no. Wow, Paola, excellent. I'm glad, I'm glad. Yo también tengo un jefe flexible también, la verdad que, bueno, no es el jefe, sino que el, el lugar, el trabajo es muy flexible. Super flexible. All right, all right. We got it. Let's continue. Let me tell you though, this company, this company, this one, this one is not really, really flexible. And I understand, I understand because, you know, they have uh, the numbers, they have uh, the schedule and uh, it's difficult to, to, to reschedule a class. I understand they are not really that flexible, but I understand it's it's cool. I mean, it's only two hours a day. That's why they are like that. Yes, and it's okay. I understand. I'm used to that. All right, look. Uh, I was telling you that idioms are not are words and phrases, which means something different from their literal meaning. Okay, tienen un significado diferente de su significado literal. For example, to be up in one's ear in work. Miren esa combinación de palabras. To be up in one, in, perdón. To be up in one's ears in work. Significa tener, have a lot of work. Tener mucho trabajo. Okay. Yes. To, to be up in one's ear in work. It, it's very complicated. <laughs> It, it, yes, they are very complicated. They are very complicated. Believe me, yes. Yes. Tienes que le mandar el chat. That one is easy, like father, like son. ¿Cómo traducen ustedes ese? Like father, like son. Tienes que cómo lo traducen en español, es muy diferente. Y aquí sería como padre, como hijo. <laughs> like father, like son. Yes. Like tal palo, tal astilla. Exactly, exactly, yes. Yes. All right. Well, we got the, the expressions. We know what they are. As sick as a dog, under the weather. Ese tú no va. Ese tú no va. There's something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can't afford to. Call in sick and tip top shape. You know what they mean. They already gave you the definitions. Let's go to part number four. It says there on part number four. Okay, we gotta match them. There you go. You say match the meanings with the idioms in part number four, then compare with a partner. Okay, over here. Look, my stomach hurts badly. Colocaremos el idiom que va en el espacio, okay? Or, these are the definitions. Estas que están acá son las definiciones de lo que están arriba. Coloquemos a la par el correspondiente. Let's go. I'm going to give you from three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. Because it, it's, it's easy. A piece of cake. Miren, otro idiom. Piece of cake. Take it easy. 
Take it easy, people. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. Guys, are you ready? Yes, we are. No, we are not. Okay, let's begin. You're gonna tell me the definition and you're gonna tell me the idiom that goes right next to the definition. Let's begin. Veronica, read the first one. Okay, teacher. The, my stomach hurts badly. Um, the answer, um, my stomach is killing me. Okay, my stomach. My stomach. The pronunciation is not stomach, it's stomach. 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 Stomach, yes. Stomach. Exactly, exactly. All Just right. Thank up. you. Thank you, Veronica. Uh, let me see. Paola, can you read the other one? I'm too, too very sick. Uh, as sick as a dog. Okay. As sick as a dog. Okay. To be very sick as, it's a, as as sick as a dog. Thank you, Paola. Excellent. Let's continue. Uh, let me see. Mayra, read the other one. Okay, teacher. Uh, let me see. To relax. 
to rest is take it easy. Okay, take it easy. To relax, to rest, take it easy. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Sandra, number four. Not feeling well. Wonder. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know to care. Calling sick. Calling sick. Yes, no. under the weather. Yes, yes, under the weather, under the weather. Remember, calling sick is when you call your boss, when you call your boss to report that you are sick, under the weather. Okay, under the weather is when you're feeling, feeling sick, that you're feeling bad, like, hey, I'm, I'm feeling under the weather right now. Can I go home? And your boss is going to tell you, yes, yes, go home, go home. No problem. No creo. <laughs> I don't think so. Que fácil. That easy, right? <laughs> Denise, can you read number five? Thank you. Okay. In great condition, tip top shape. Okay. Tip top. Tip top shape. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Tip top shape. That is in great condition. Excellent. Carlos? Alberto, read number six. Um, don't have time to. Mm -hmm. um, I think it is. Um, can't afford to. Yes, can't afford to. Okay, can't afford to, don't have time to. Es como, no va a poder dar el lujo de, darse el lujo de, okay, no poder darse el lujo de. Number seven, Carlos Eliezer. Uh, the number seven is, <laughs> there, there, there is something going around. Okay, there's something going around, exactly. Thank you. Going around. There's something going around. Yes, exactly, exactly. Thank you, thank you. And the last one, Brian. I think Brian is not there. Ismael. Yes, teacher. Um, to phone the office to say you are sick. Call in sick. Okay, call call in sick. To phone the office that you are sick. Okay. Phone también es llamar, okay? Esa palabra phone es un verbo también. Phone, llamar. Call in sick. All right. Excellent, excellent. Let's continue with the part number six. Take a look at it. It says their pair work. Student A, you are sick and you call into your workplace to explain the situation. That is student A. Student B, you attend the call and ask your classmate what the matter is, then change roles. Use four or five idioms in your conversation. So basically, we're going to make a conversation or create a conversation one of you is going to be sick and is going to call your, the company to report that you're sick and the other person is going to uh, continue with the conversation or answer the phone call and uh, will ask what the problem or what is happening with the person, okay? Do you guys understand? Yes, teacher. All right, let me... Let me make the groups of the, the couples, the pairs right now. There are some people that are not really 
available right now. Let's see. Christian, are you available? I'm just checking. I think Christian is important. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, you are. I didn't I didn't know. Yes, it says oriented next to your name. What before your name? Anna is not available. Brian, I don't I don't know. Brian, you All right, let's go, people. I you stop? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll see you there. Myra, Denise, hello. Can you guys join the groups? Thank you. Hello. Hi, Denise. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry, Did I wasn't. Get... In... Yes, it's okay. Inter... Did you get the notification? No. Yes. Yes, I have. I have an inviting. Okay. Uh, but uh, okay. Okay.
hagámoslo como 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 que está como que estamos en el trabajo somos compañeros de la oficina Sí, oh, que creo que decía estudiante, decía. a ver ah estudiante ya es mm, estudiante Como que estuvieras en la escuela o algo así. sí eso Eso es con referencia, hello, hello, sorry. Hi, teacher. Hello. Eso es con referencia a, a, a la clase, ok. Ah, ok. Ah, ah ok. <ríe> Mira, ok. mira, mira lo que dice. Lea, lea. You are sick and called into your workplace. To explain the situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Es cierto, es cierto. But not a problem. If you, if you want to do it differently, no problem, ok. As long, as long as you use the idioms, no problem. Con tal que usen los dichos, no hay problema. Pueden cambiarlo, pueden cambiarlo. This is Well, the listener. okay. Ah, okay. You are the listeners group. Christian listener, Ismael listener, and Sara listener. But Sara is, is, is feeling sick, I think. She's feeling under the weather. Sara is feeling under the water. Oh, I think so. I think sorry, so. Sara. You will be okay. Okay, eh, comencemos. Let's start. Eh, bueno, empiezo yo. Eh, compartir aquí para, para que puedan compartir pantalla y puedan escribir. Continue, guys. Inicio, inicio. Volveremos tarde. Ok. Ok, bueno, yo empecé. Doctor, ajá. The doctor. Yes, they do. Yes, 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 I do una cosa. Yes, I do. George, Yes, I, por yes, ejemplo. I have. Yes, I have. Because Yes, I have the, a... the answer, yes, because the, the question is, have you visited the Ah, doctor? yes, yes, sorry. I don't listen well. Hello, teacher. Have, have you, hello, teacher. Uh, I'm just have listening. you visit the doctor? Visited, visited. This, uh, <laughs> visited. Sorry, sorry. The doctor. The doctor. Um, I respond you. Uh, Yes, I have. sure. Yes, I have. Sure. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. He he Yes, I have. he gave me sick leave, right? Mm -hmm. A sick leave. uh, in fact, no. Okay. Yes, I have, George. In fact, the hecho. Fact. The hecho, Fact. the doctor. Uh, the doctor. Uh, teacher. Yes. Gave me. Okay, okay, um, how can I say me, me recetó the doctor me recetó the doctor Recommended. sorry Prescribe. You can say prescribe. Recommend or prescribe. ah uh, prescribe the doctor prescribed me yes Prescribe. it's correct So the prescribed. Y la medicina. Okay. In fact, the doctor, the doctor, sorry, teacher, I don't listen Prescribe. well. Prescribe. You Prescribe. describe. Okay. In fact, the doctor described. Describe. Describe. Acetaminophen. Um, acetaminophen. Okay. Okay. Um, And then, George? And then? Um, maybe um, take it easy. Uh, you, you respond, right? You respond. Um, oh, yes? 
Thank you. Thank you. And, and we, we can say, uh, please call to Mayra to oh, explain yeah. to explain the situation. Okay. Call Mayra. Call Mayra. Please okay. call Mayra. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, I have yours. I'm, in fact, the doctor described me acetaminophen. Did you, you say? Uh, I think actually, actually, I have not. Uh, I don't have, I can't afford to because I have a lot of work. Or because, yes, because I have a lot of work. I can't afford to. I can afford to. That of work. What do you where is something going on? I have asked and left it. But take it easy. Thank you, time and rest. I can win on this. What a boss. Hey, hello. I'm sorry, guys, to interrupt you. Um, uh, for interrupting them again. Where's the arrow? I got the name of the key. Feeling, feeling, feeling. Es doble, doble, e, no doble L. Ah, sí, es cierto. Yes. And uh, what else? Oh, here. Had only. Has no. Do you mean human resources over here? Yeah. Okay, but that's a Spanish HR. Al revés. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Sorry, no, I think it's only one, one, one H, one R. Yeah. All right, you're doing good. Only ladies over here, women power. Yes, <laughs> yeah. all right, carry on, carry on. <laughs> okay. <See you> later. <laughs> Oh. Hi guys. Hello, teacher. teacher. ¿Cómo se dice solucionar? Hey, solve. 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 Yes. Oh, okay. Pero en pasado. O oh, solve con D. Con D. Pero ¿cómo se escribe? Ah. So... Solve. Solve. S O L V E D. <laughs> so S S O U or mm -hmm. ah okay. Go on, go. On. I'm just listening. Okay, continue. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Calm down, calm down, calm down. 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 Calm down, calm down
Eh, que usted dice que muchas gracias por llamar, por reportarme, Fer. Ajá. Yo soluciono eso, lo veo mañana. Vaya. Dice, ese call down creo que está de más ahí. Ah, pues lo quitamos. Solo lo voy a dejar en understand. understand. Thanks. Thanks a lot. For call. Thanks. Let's hope it. Okay, yo, yo, o sea, ¿cómo, qué, ¿qué es lo que quiere decir ahí? I, I solve it, this. Yo, yo resuelvo. Solo, ajá, yo solo como que resolver eso. I will, entonces. Uh, I will sí. solve sí. it. Sí, sí, oh, sí. Vale. I, will, I will solve it, I'll solve it. I will solve it or I'll solve it. Yes. Ajá. Thank you. Solve it, eat. Okay, let me check there. I will solve it. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, but I'll see you later. Carlos, bye. Practiquemos. Hello, Mrs. Veronica. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you can help me, please. Hi, Carlos. What's, what's the matter? What is the matter? I really, I feel dear. Uh, one night ago, I started to feel wrong. Take it easy. Explain me better. Yesterday, yes. my head blown, and today I get up to sick. I understand. I understand. Thanks a lot for calling in sync. Sick. I will solve, solve it. Um, see you tomorrow. Okay, Veronica, see you later. Quiero ver ese see you tomorrow. Okay. Ready, brothers? Yes. Just teacher. Let me go check on the other groups to see if they have finished. Okay, you, can, you can practice, okay? Continue practicing. Teacher, yes? eh, alguna otra forma de decir uh, te veo mañana o the forward, no sé. What do you have? See you tomorrow. Oh, it's okay. That's see you tomorrow. Yes. Okay. See you. See you soon. See you. Aha, uh -huh, see you. See you soon. Okay. See you tomorrow. In the chat, you can see what they are not like see you tomorrow, but they are similar expressions. Similar expressions. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you, teacher.
¿Cómo está ahí, Carlos? Mm, tomorrow. What is the main? What is the main of the deal? Which one? Uh, what What is the main of the deal? Oh, deal. Hasta. Hasta. Ah. Uh, okay. You can say adios. Adios. <laughs> Yes, you can say that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, continue practicing. If you want to, I'm going to go to see what is happening in the other groups. Yeah. The teacher is here. I'm just <laughs> listening. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. The same, the same as you. You are listeners. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Right, right. Estamos iguales. Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, we are ready. Okay, excellent. So with you, it's two groups that are ready. Let me see what's going on with Jorge and the group with the ladies. I'll see you soon. Hi, are we ready over here? Oh, yes. Yes, teacher. Wow, excellent. Fantastic. You deserve. Merecen esto, miren. Hello, hello. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 me, no me tiente. No, Jorge ni se fije. No me tiente porque de repente aparece. Wow. Wow. Oh, y Big Mama. This is a Big Mama. Wow. Wow. Depende, parece agua que tenía yo ahí. Algo pasó. Ah, tiene sentido. Siempre me he preguntado por qué molesta a mí Jorge con eso y ahora todo tiene sentido. ¿Por qué? No sé. No entiendo. No, okay. a... okay yes, we finished. We finished, teacher. I, I have relax to... sometimes. Yes. Teacher, I have, I have two, two, two yards. Uh, two yards. This is, this is uh, size. The size or tamaño? Size. Yes, yes. Size. Yes. I have, I have, I have, uh, I have two yards. This is size. Arras. For, 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 yes. Ah, for the, ahí le cabe for, una, una de la grande. Una de, una big mama. <laughs> Ni yo tengo eso. <laughs> okay. No, no. Oh, wow, excellent, okay. excellent. All right, so we're ready, right? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, 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 teacher. Perfect. Perfect. We are ready. All right, let me go to. I had the same the last week. Thank you. Ingress. Thank you so much. See you soon. Uh, Teacher, okay. there I can afford to. We need to use a verb or we can use a connector like because. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yes. I can afford to go uh, in that one to go because. I have a lot of work. Okay, vamos a ver abajo. Uh, I have the flu. I have the, I have the flu. Uh, I'm going to the ocean and I have Wow, you boy, you are you are good as bosses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. So we're ready. Let's go back to the main session and let's see what we can do over there. Let's go, people. See you there. Okay. 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 Okay, we have to wait a couple of seconds to get everybody back. How many seconds? 25 seconds. 
and counting down. Guys, you know how to take to take a screenshot in the in the computer? I cannot do it on this computer. I mean, I don't have the option. I don't know how to do it. I could do it with the other computer, but not with this one. In why. your keyboard, there is yeah. a a key for this thing. Yeah, it's which one is it? Which one is it? Imprint. In, 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 IMP. Yeah, I have that one, and I have I have clicked on it, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, click on it and take to copy and another like a word or in the chat maybe. What I do is I I do that and I send uh, the screenshot to the to WhatsApp, and uh, it used to work with the other computer, but now with this one, I do not know why. Mm, um, I don't remember. I think press control plus G. Give me a second. All right. Let me know. I think everybody is back. Let's begin with, with let me see, with Carlos, Jorge, and Mayra. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Oh, <clears throat> Hello, this is George. Hi, this is Carlos. I call. I call. I'm sick. Uh, my head is killing me. Okay, Carlos. I understand. I was under the weather too. How do you visit the doctor? <laughs> Yes, I have your. Yes, I have yours. In fact, the doctor is crying acetaminophen. Take it easy, Carlos. Please call Mayra to explain the situation. Hey, I call her. Hi, Mayra. Hi, Carlos. How are you? I. Head killing me now. Clip? Yes, uh, the doc the doctor prescribed me I sick leave for three for three days. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know, and I hope you are feeling better, Carlos. I hope I hope too. Thank you, Mayra. Thank you, Carlos. Good day. Bye. Okay. Bye. Excellent. Excellent. It's all. It's Finish. All Excellent. Very good, very good, guys. Very good, very good. All right, let's continue with uh, Sandra. I think it was Sandra, Paola, and Denise. Yes. Hey, um, good morning, this is Paola from Human Resource. Hi, Paul. I'm Denise. I'm calling I'm not feeling well. I'm feeling under the weather. Hello, David. Hello, Denise. Tell me what's going on. My headache is killing me. Have you gone to the doctor? Actually, I have not. I can't afford to go because I have a lot of work. There's something going around. I had the same day last week. Um, take your easy, take your time and rest. Thank you so much, Pao. See you soon. Okay. Good morning, this is Sandra. Hi Sandra, I'm Denise. I'm calling in sick. I'm not feeling great. Hello Denise, tell me what's your mother? Do you feel under the water? Yes, my headache is killing me. I think I have the flu. Uh, have you gone to the doctor? Actually, I have not. I can't afford to go because I have a lot of work. There is something going around. A lot of people have the same because they were reporting a few days ago. Take it easy. Take your time and rest. Thank you so much, Sandra. See you soon. 
Thank you. <laughs> excellent, excellent. excellent. Thank you, thank you. All right, all right. So let's continue with uh, the Argentinian boy, <laughs> Christian. Hello, Christian, and your group. Christian, Ismael, uh, Sara was there, but Sara couldn't participate. Christian, Ismael, go ahead. Okay. Good morning, Christian. How are you? Good morning, Ismael. Today I'm failing under the weather. Oh, what happened with you? My stomach is killing me. Oh, take it easy. Try to rest and I will notify the teacher you are not connecting to the class. I couldn't seek to the teacher early. Oh, that's okay. There is something going around these days. Yes, but I don't like to be as a sick as a dog. Don't worry, you will be tipped up shade soon. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Get well see soon. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, hi, oh, hi. Now people, see you Monday. See you Monday. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you, Christian and Ismael. Very good. The last two people, Veronica and Carlos. Yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. Give me a... one second. Hello, Mrs. Veronica. I hope you can help me, please. Hi, Carlos. What is the matter? Really, I feel deep. One night ago, I started to feel wrong. Oh, take it easy, take it easy. Explain me better. Yesterday, my head blew, and today I got up so sick. I understand. Thanks a lot for calling in sick. I will solve it. I solve, solve it. See you, see you soon, Carlos. Okay, Veronica, see you later. All right, we got it. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good, people. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, well, everybody did a very good job. Thank you guys for always participating. Mayra, hi. Es su turno, Mayra. ¿Qué hace? I'm now teacher. You are the winner. <laughs> you are the winner. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, tenía unos cuantos más, más uh, dichos o modismos. Te los mandaré al chat, ya que no hay tiempo. Ahí les mandaré una captura. Me avisan si la pueden. Yes, teacher. Gracias. One. Okay, teacher. They, are very, they are very easy. They are very easy. As you can see, they are very easy. You can uh, you can take a look at them once you have some time off. You can take a look at them and practice. That's another one. We do not have more time for that. That's why I'm just sharing them to you. Only those ones. I have one more, but that's too much information. There you go. Are you pulling my leg? Like no, I am not. You know what that means? Are you pulling my leg? Right. Excellent. People. Uh, let me take attendance real quick or update it. Yes. I want to say something to you. Uh, let me see. Both Carlos Alberto and Carlos Eliezer. Guys, uh, try to try to not miss the classes, okay? Las que faltan, traten de no, no faltar. Las que faltan. Si no pueden estar participando, solo conéctense con el teléfono y dejen conectada la... la Que se conectados para que okay, no más adelante porque aquí aparecen un poco bajos con los minutos. Okay, Entonces, yes. Okay, okay. You cannot participate, don't worry, okay? You can be as a listener, you can uh, join with your cell phone and you can stay connected from your cell phone. Okay, in that way you will not have issues with the next module, all right? Yes. Ana Victoria. Present. Thank you. Andy Ernesto. 
Brian David. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Alberto. Present teacher, present. Yes, Carlos Eliezer. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Denise Alejandra. Present. Diana no estuvo. Thank you, Denise. Diana no estuvo. She's sick. Edwin Heriberto tampoco estuvo. We don't know. We don't know why. Ismael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jorge Ernesto. Present, teacher. <coughs> Present. Mar yes, thank you, Jorge. Marvin Josué left. He had an emergency, so he had to leave. Mayra Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Nos vaya a ir, okay? Quédese, nos vaya, nos vaya a escapar. <laughs> Paola, Gerald. Paola. Present. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Sandra Ibe. Present teacher. Sara Rachel. Present teacher. Veronica Lisa. Present. And Jancy Solorcano. Okay. People, we got it. Thank you very much. It's Friday. I wish you the best for tomorrow and Sunday. Descansen, pasenla bien, disfruten y pues vemos el día lunes, ¿ok? Cuídense mucho. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, bro. Bye. 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 See you. See you on Monday. Congratulations, bye. Bye, Maya. Thank you. Get fans and Mayra. Ok. <laughs> What happened? Bye, everyone. Good night, guys. Hi, Mayra. Hello, teacher. I will not take a lot of time from you. Uh, tell me, do you have any questions about the topics? Alguna confusión, complicación de lo que hemos visto o algún tema aparte que usted haya visto en algún lugar y no, y no lo comprenda o esté confundida? Um, este, I think... Um... Creo que sí, sería sobre lo, lo que explicó al principio del presente perfecto. No sé si entendí bien, pero dijo algo de que no podíamos usar a, a Jer. Oh, sí, bueno, ya, ya lo voy a poner la, la imagen acá. Si Send me to a okay. Sí, es que recuerde, ese, ese... No, esto, no, esto, no, esto. This one, hold on. Que he perdido la... <laughs> que tomé que el día de hoy. Que sí, se usa el present perfect se usa para para describir acciones que inician en el pasado y se conectan en el presente. Uh -huh. Acá es como está acá. Yo no puedo, demos un ejemplo. Dice, they have walked for many hours. Ellos han caminado por muchas horas. Podríamos incluirle yesterday. Mm, claro que podemos. De poder se puede. <ríe> que esté correcto ya es otro. otro, otro. Pongámosle yesterday. They have work, walked for many hours yesterday. Sería de esta forma. Ellos han caminado muchas horas ayer. Mm, no sé. Bueno, no no suena correcto. Bien. Sería mejor decir, ellos caminaron muchas horas sería ayer. Entonces, eso sería pasado simple. Y no uh -huh. el, el perfecto que aparece acá. O pongámosle last night, el día de ayer. Pongámosle acá. Sandra has not read the memo yesterday. Sandra no ha leído el memorándum ayer. Mm, no suena correcto. Porque ayer es pasado. ¿Ok? Y el present perfect no es pasado. Bueno, sí es pasado, pero conectado con el presente. Hay una conexión. Así, así es como se usa el present perfect, para dejar pasado con presente, experiencia, pues, experiencia. Entonces sería, Sandra no leyó, si es pasado, no leyó el memorándum ayer, o anoche, digamos, anoche. Pongámosle last week, la semana pasada, pongámosle con el segundo ejemplo, the boss has not checked the payroll last week. El jefe no ha revisado o no ha verificado la planilla la semana pasada. No. Ok. Sería mejor decir el jefe no revisó. Pasado simple. Que pasado simple. Esa es la diferencia. 
Por eso es que tenemos tres formas en el, tres formas en el verbo. Tenemos la forma base, normal, el pasado y el pasado participio. El pasado es el pasado ¿sí? y el participio mm. es el que usamos acá en esta estructura. Es revisado, caminado, comido, conducido, ha hablado, llorado y entre más. Ok. Sí, entonces no se pueden usar palabras de pasado. No se puede. No se puede. Tal vez, tal vez se puede, sí se puede usar, mira acá, el for. El for sí se puede usar. El for más, más un periodo de tiempo, como por tres días, por tres horas, por tres semanas, aquí por muchas horas, por tres meses, ahí sí se puede. ¿Ok? Como, okay. por ejemplo, digo, I have not driven, no he manejado. I have not driven for three weeks. No he conducido por tres semanas. Ahí sí se puede. Porque no es pasado específico, no es, un, no es algo pasado específico, no es como yesterday, last night, last week, que es pasado específico. Okay. Yes. Es que más que para, para, para más, más claro, este present perfect no es específico en el pasado. Solo mencionamos que hemos hecho algo, pero no decimos cuándo lo hicimos. Específicamente. Le digo, I have driven, he conducido, ok, sí he conducido, pero no, no sé desde cuándo. Uf, uf. Okay. Es como decir que I drove yesterday, yo manejé ayer, ya es más, más específico. Ok, ¿más preguntas? Mm, no, solamente. Esa era la duda que tenía. Creo que es que pensamos a veces a la hora de hablar, este, nos complicamos un poco y, y ahí es donde no, no encontramos cómo formular la, de, de, la oración. De hecho, ese, de hecho ese, ese error que, que es común, ese error, es común. Ya lo he escuchado muchas veces uh -huh. que dicen que hacer de, lo mezclan con, con el person perfect y es, entiendo, entiendo, porque dicen, ah, es pasado, suena como pasado. Porque vemos el verbo, vemos el verbo con ed y pensamos que es pasado. Eso no es pasado. Porque okay, ese es pasado participio. Uh -huh. Hay dos pasados, pasado normal y pasado participio. Sí. sí. Ok. Uh, Mayra, do you have any recommendations for uh, activities that I can include in the classes or suggestions? Mm, no, really, teacher. I. I like you. I like your um. Uh, tu forma de dar la clase, no sé. Your way, es... your way of teaching. Okay, I, I like your way of teach. Okay, thank you. But if you have, if you have any re recommendations, let me know, right? Avíseme. Cualquier recomendación o sugerencia siempre avíseme. Okay. okay. Para poder, para poder mejorar la experiencia de las clases. Sí. Okay. Okay. Well, thank, thank you, you, Mayra, for staying. I will see you on Monday. Cuídense mucho, que descanse y pasen la vida con su familia, amigos, con quien sea, ¿ok? Cuídense. Gracias, igual. Bye, bye. Pásenla bien. Bye, 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 bye teacher.